Hello everyone, welcome back. We are in the last lecture of uh, this module and also uh, our um, course on structural vibration. So in this uh, week, we have learned how to use uh, finite element software for um, structural vibration analysis and uh, we have already uh, learned how to model a structure in ANSYS and uh, then do the modal analysis and then time history analysis and finally uh, we have done response spectrum analysis. Now these models are uh, developed uh, in ANSYS workbench. Now there is a different option in ANSYS what we call ANSYS APDL. Now today we are going to use ANSYS APDL to show you a different example. Now what happens uh, in case of actual structure uh, we often need to do uh, different analysis and for that um, we need to develop the finite element model. Now uh, you can write your own finite element code in uh, say MATLAB but that itself is a very complex task. What we can do we can bypass that and take the help of any commercially available software in our case it is ANSYS then very easily we can uh, model the structure in ANSYS and then uh, ANSYS will give you the details of the structure. That means the complete finite element model in terms of its mass matrix, stiffness matrix, degrees of freedom, nodes, connectivities um, and all other details. So once we extract all those information then we can develop our uh, MATLAB code for further analysis. This is an advantage uh, we can uh, get from this commercially available software. So that's what we are going to demonstrate today. And for that what we'll do, we'll consider a steel bridge. Here you can see the details of steel bridge. So it's a truss bridge and you can see two different truss on either side and they are connected uh, by bracings and it is a rail bridge so uh, you can see uh, the cross guarder and stringers they support actually the rail lines so that's visible in the bottom view and uh, the span of this bridge is 30.5 meter and then uh, the different sections for this bridge are given here so this we can model using finite element but remember if you uh, wish to develop your own code to model this bridge obviously that itself is a very complex task. So that's what we are going to bypass. So we'll model this bridge in uh, ANSYS and this time we are going to use ANSYS APDL and not workbench and of course uh, we'll not uh, develop the model step by step that we have already demonstrated earlier. So Using these sections and the geometric details, we will model it. The material is steel, it is uh, 250 steel, so we will use that. But before I show you the uh, ANSYS model, you can see the cross sections. Now in ANSYS, you can um, draw these cross sections and find out the sectional properties. Just remember if you wish to develop your own uh, finite element code in um, MATLAB then in that case you have to first find out the sectional properties that means cross sectional area, moment of inertia about x, y axis then other uh, sectional properties. That is the reason it is always very complex to develop your own finite element code that also we do but not for um, regular design purposes but uh, here in ANSYS you can uh, draw different geometry. In fact, you can draw these sections in AutoCAD and you can import that also. But there are options in uh, ANSYS where you can draw this cross section and find out the sectional properties. So using this uh, sectional properties and the geometric details, we have already developed the model. So let me show you the ANSYS APDL model. So here you can see the ANSYS model uh, and you can see the 
two trusses at the either side of the bridge and they are connected by bracings and at the bottom level we have cross guarders and stringers and then at the stringer level also there are bracings on top of these uh, stringers actually the rails are supported so this model is uh, developed in ANSYS APDL here you can see on the left hand side you have preprocessor here you have different options uh, you need to define the material property and you can develop the geometry for that you have um, that modeling option if you click that modeling option you have uh, different um, options to create so if you select create here you can see you can first define the key points then joining the key points you can develop lines you can define areas you can develop volumes so these are different options so using these uh, options we first uh, entered the key points and then we develop the lines and then once you develop the line then uh, you can go to the section you can go to the section and here you can define different sections you can see beam sections just if you click beam section and then here you have common sections and you can also have custom sections so these are different options you have uh, to define the sectional property so once the section is defined you have the material properties also um, you can define the material property you have material library so uh, and then you can uh, use different other options see that material model and then um, you can define the material property here you can see you have uh, different material models defined and if you um, select structural and then linear you can uh, have nonlinear properties also here you can see elastic so you can define the isotropic uh, property so if you select and here you need to define Young's modulus and uh, Poisson's ratio now if you go back you have the option for density also so the density of the steel is defined here so you can change it accordingly to your material so this is how you can define material properties and here you can see the damping so the structural damping also you can define and here again you see you have different options so you have mass multiplier and stiffness multiplier you can easily follow that and then frequency dependent that means in different modes what are the level of damping that you can also define if you have any specialized material that also you can define but for the time being we are not going into the details of those options now once you define this once you define this you have to uh, go for meshing so here again you have the mesh tool and then uh, once you have it here then you can select the element attributes at the top here you have uh, different uh, geometry to mesh you can start with lines area volumes and then uh, accordingly you can mesh here you can see uh, the mesh is for lines but if you select this drop down menu you have the other options also we do not have area or volume so there is no point of uh, doing that we have only lines so uh, this is how you have to uh, define the mesh and you can also control the mesh size in this option so once this is done then uh, pre-processing is done then we have to go for post-processing uh, sorry solution and then finally post-processing in the solution we have analysis type if you select analysis type here you see new analysis then if you select new analysis you'll have different options here you can see static modal harmonic transient spectrum and eigen buckling so all these options are available here so uh, in our case uh, we are going to extract the mass and stiffness matrix so that's the reason we are not going to solve it for um, this but again we will compare the modal frequencies uh, what we get from ANSYS and then we'll extract the mass and stiffness matrix and then in MATLAB we will do eigen analysis to find out the 
modal frequencies and then we will compare that also <laughs> but one thing i want to show you here if you select model then uh, you have analysis option as you can see now in this analysis option you have different uh, eigen solvers you can see so out of that we select block langsos and then for that we also control the number of modes here we have first 10 modes extracted and uh, these are the options available which i leave it to you you can try these options but for the time being we are using block langsos okay so let us cancel this okay so now uh, i will show you a matlab code that can extract the mass and stiffness matrix but for that uh, you have to uh, first develop the file what we call lgw file so if you save this uh, file it uh, saves it in dot db mode and uh, then you can also develop the lgw file using save as option okay so now let let us go to the matlab and then show you how we can um, extract the mass and stiffness matrix and we will uh, solve the complete structure there so here you can see on the left hand side you can see here the dot db file that we developed using ansys aptl i just showed you then the next one is the lgw file if you open it so you can see the complete details that means it starts with the key points so there we need to define the coordinates of each and every uh, truss member and then uh, we define the material property sectional property so all these are here so these are basically the commands that we execute in apdl to develop that model and finally we use this to solve the structure so here you have the complete details in apdl language so if you scroll down then you can see at the end it first develops the key points then it develops node using the con i mean connectivity it develops the element then for each and every element defines the i mean material and then finally assemble that to form the mass and stiffness matrix so if you uh, go to the bottom of this uh, file you will see the complete uh, i mean model developed in this module so what we'll do we'll use this lgw file from matlab to solve the structure okay and uh, at the end of this lgw file here you can see the solution options so we use the modal solution and again using the block langsos we select the first 10 modes and save it it will uh, extract the first 10 mode and then it will write a output file where it will uh, write the natural frequencies first 10 modes will be written in that um, file so here you can see f underscore m dot txt is the file m where it is going to save the natural frequencies it extracts using block langsos okay so let us go to the matlab file and here you can see it is the complete matlab file so in the first part of this file we set the path and then uh, you can see it uses the lgw file and then it runs 
for modal solution and saves it in the output. I will show you that in a minute and then once we have it you can see here this is the fm f underscore m dot txt where we have all the natural frequencies saved. We will use that to compare what we get using the mass and stiffness matrix and then solve it in MATLAB. So, what we have here in the first part we extract the mass matrix and for that we have uh, these set of comments. I am not going uh, through each of them. Uh, these are self explanatory. So, we can extract the mass and stiffness. So, first we extract mass and then using the information available that means nodal information and the connectivity and the degrees of freedom. So, we assemble the mass matrix here. So, once the mass matrix is assembled then we follow the same procedure and then extract the stiffness matrix. For that also again we need to assemble the ma uh, stiffness matrix considering the nodal information. So, once we do that our mass and stiffness matrices are ready and then what we do we use eigen analysis this is uh, familiar to you because in our previous code for MDOF system we actually use this. And you can see in this case we are using eigen uh, command in MATLAB to extract the natural frequencies. So, then uh, we compare the first 10 natural frequencies and that will be displayed um, in the command prompt. So, this example clearly tells you how we can use MATLAB and ANSYS and combine them to find out the mass and stiffness matrix. So, let me run and then we will um, see the response. Okay, the solution is ready and on the right hand column you can see the complete details are available. So, you have uh, K that is the stiffness matrix and M that is the mass matrix. So, um, you can see them. So, here is the stiffness matrix and then uh, here is the mass matrix for the complete structure and then using uh, these two matrices we have done eigen analysis and here you can see the natural frequencies that we get using uh, the MATLAB code. And then uh, we have already solved that using APDL. Now, let us compare these frequencies with whatever we get from ANSYS and for that uh, if you recall we have a output dot uh, out this is the file. So, if you go to the end of this file here you can see we have uh, first 10 uh, frequencies in hertz and then you can see we get the same frequencies that we get from our ANSYS and MATLAB. So, this example clearly shows you how you can extract the mass and stiffness matrix. So, if you have a complex structure you can easily model that using the software and then you can extract the finite element model and you can also develop your own code for different other analysis. For example, if you uh, develop your own code for uh, vibration control, then you can use this information to develop a controller and then combine that and find out the control response. Again, those are uh, not covered in this course, but this information is uh, very useful in uh, analysis and design. Sometimes we actually simulate the response of a same structure for different um, earthquakes or different other loads. In that case also we can run uh, the ANSYS for different inputs and uh, we can do that using this option. We can extract the mass stiffness matrix and solve it in MATLAB or you can also uh, call ANSYS from your MATLAB code just I have shown you using this MATLAB code. here. Uh, this example shows you how you can call MATLAB 
sorry ansys from matlab and then run it for different um, purposes right so this you can explore and further uh, develop your own code and see how it works if you have any doubt or any query then uh, we'll meet in the um, open session and there you can actually uh, raise your queries and we'll try our best to address them so with that let us close our last module in this course and i hope this course is useful to all of you uh, we have uh, the gmail id so if you have any other query for uh, other modules that we have and in uh, um, this uh, course on structural vibration so you can raise your query and then we'll uh, definitely try your best to clear them Thank you very much.